Buongiorno. We're back at uh, the 8th Annual Handmade Bike Show with Road Bike Action, and this morning we have a special guest in Grace. Hi. Hey, Grace. Good Where morning. Where are you from? Uh, Colorado. What do you think of the show so far? It's good. Well, what does good mean? Awesome, because I'm selling a lot of things. Okay, you having fun? Yes. Have you seen a best, your favorite bike yet? No. Okay, you're going to keep looking? Yes. All right, we'll see you a little bit later. Thank you, Grace. Anyways, uh, the show is now uh, open to the public and it's teeming with people and enthusiasts and I think everybody's here to find their dream bike. Good morning, we're back at the, uh, in the halls of the North American Handmade Bike Show and this morning we're talking to Mark from Ventus Cycles. Uh, there's about a thousand and one stories to tell here from the show and this is one particular that I learned about yesterday that I found most interesting and that this is Mark's very first bicycle he's ever built. Mark, can you tell us a little bit about your bike? It's a titanium lugged, carbon fiber, um, tubed touring bike. Uh, it's what I vision for a hundred mile day. It's kind of my dream for what I would want to ride on a hundred mile day. What I did was uh, built a uh, titanium frame, cut it up, shaped the lugs, then re built it using carbon fiber tubes um, in the place of the uh, titanium lugs that I cut. Okay, so now we're over at the uh, Wheel Fanatic booth with uh, Rick Hertberg. Uh, Rick is one of the most renowned wheelmen in all of the world. He used to be a proprietor with his brother John with the Wheelsmith Bike Shop in Northern California, and now he is the man behind these wheels. Well, these are wood rims. You know, wood rim was king for uh, over 70 years. Uh, all racing, all training, all the worlds, all the classics, all the grand tours were run on wood rims exclusively. And this is a father-son team in Northern Italy. They go by the name Gisalo um, and make clinchers and tubulars. I'm holding a clincher here. It's a 700C, sort of a 29er solution. Wood is kind of a, it's a discovery for many people to find that its properties are are really superior for a rim. I mean, they match right up with aluminum and carbon fiber for strength and weight, stability, shock absorption, dent resistance. They're stronger than aluminum for many applications. I think most people who walk up to the booth are act surprised, you know, that wood would even be a candidate for a rim. But the story is, it wasn't just a candidate, it was the mainstay rim material for uh, more than half a century. Well, here we are back at the Sarto booth with Marco, the fabulous Marco, and uh, today we're going to be talking about not the DeLorean bikes, but really the, the bikes that are putting Sarto on the map, and that's the carbon fiber bikes that, again, are handmade one at a time in the small factory in Veneto, Italy, which is just outside of Venice. Uh, good morning, Marco. Uh, I see in your hand today, actually, you have, uh, actually, be good, before we get to the, uh, the, the carbon bike, the lightweight bike, this is a new frame you even have as a carbon titanium bike. Can you tell us about that real quick? Well, this is just an experiment. You know, we, we like to uh, show to the public how versatile we are. And all of the ugly things Now, of course, that's the little jewel, but the big jewel of the show is the new Sarto lightweight frame that you've been telling me about. Uh, can we look at that and just tell us a little bit about that frame? This uh, product uh, is uh, a super light bike uh, frame. Right. Well, the 54 uh, size is uh, 663 uh, grams. And uh, it's not just for the show. This is a real bike uh, and uh, because it's also very rideable and very stiff. We think that the ratio stiffness uh, uh, weight is uh, one of the best, uh, if not the best, uh, in the industry. And you just watch the show like a black crow. Cerro booth with Craig Calfee, um, who we looked at yesterday on the Calfee carbon frames, but this is an entirely different project that Craig's got going. Uh, bamboo frames made out of Africa. Um, it's an inspiring story, and Craig, what can you tell us about them? Well, a few years ago, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do with my life, and I had uh, built a bamboo bike, and people were really enamored with the idea of bamboo bikes. I'd also traveled in Africa in the 80s as a young man, and noticed they have a lot of bamboo there. They ride bikes and they need jobs. 
So I thought, how about I start a bamboo bike company in Africa and teach people how to build them over there, and then either they can use them or we'll export them to the U.S. and Europe. Well, the African bikes are, are less monitored in terms of uh, wall thicknesses and diameters, so they're a little heavier than the Calfi bikes. They're quite different. Every, almost every one is different. They use different fibers depending on which builder it is. Even the bamboo varies a fair amount depending on where, what the local bamboo is. So uh, the geometry, however, is all the same, and the basic functionality is very close. They're, they're the same ride quality, just a little bit heavier, and not quite as fine a finish as the Calfi ones. Right.